has literally taken me five years to plan this trip and 15 more years thinking about a trip to the Kalikhadi and here we are arrived at the gate and I'm with my beautiful wife Elmarie who has come with me on this trip and we've been traveling now for two days to get here and we are so excited now to have arrived at the entrance building and there it is in the background and we're about to go into the gate and start an amazing holiday at the Kalikhadi. of Roy Pitt's camp where we slept last night is just less than a kilometer up the hill here and we woke up early this morning when we had our breakfast and as we came out the gate the lion is just over there in the grass and he's just walking off there watching us very, very carefully and amazingly we've been sitting up the hill there having our cacao and our early morning breakfast taking all these beautiful pictures of the sunrise and not knowing that just a few hundred meters down the road is a real huge <laughs> lion uh, right there in the grass <laughs> Here we are at Melkflay, which is our first breakfast stop on our first morning game drive here in Khalikhadi. And behind me, there she is in all her glory, the birthday girl, Elmeri, turns 56 today and what a very, very <laughs> special birthday. We've just had an amazing game drive and here we are at a sort of a picnic place where you're allowed to get out of your car, but believe it, just the other side here, yeah, about two k's from here, we saw a lioness walking. Uh, she looked very pregnant. Uh, so we've had an amazing uh, first morning game drive. We saw tons of chimps walk, some wildebeest, some springbok, lots of raptors, and of course uh, the lioness, some jackals, and it's been completely amazing. a lady there who said uh, that when she arrived she was on her way to the toilet and a lion came out of the toilet and of course since then nobody's been going to the toilet and she came on to milk flay where she told us that so we uh, arrived at Dickbart's Cork about three hours later and uh, the lions are still there and they're lying behind the toilet and so we uh, got a very nice vantage point and uh, got some incredible uh, shots of the lion.
Hans apparently stayed the whole day, but we had to move on, keeping north along the dry Nossop riverbed. The abundance of game and the exceptional bird life kept us entertained every inch of the way. The hide at Nossop overlooks a waterhole on the wide and dry Nossop river bed. A beautiful and serene start to our next day on the road. Well, it's early morning here at Nossop uh, where we've had an overnight uh, lovely camp, fence camp. Uh, we had a braai last night and no risk of lions here uh, like it is at uh, Roy Pitts where there's no fences, yeah, there's a fence. So we had a good night's sleep, uh, nice shower, nice shave. <laughs> <laughs> so we feel refreshed and we're on our way now to Mata Mata, which is another couple of hours and a big long game drive. We've just had a fantastic encounter with three lions. Um, it's the closest I've ever been to a lion. We were literally five meters away from them. Uh, unfortunately, they were quite in the grass and a little bit behind a tree. But nevertheless, we got some fantastic pictures of them. And uh, to be five meters away from uh, three lions like that, I think there were four. Four lines like that was quite scary and quite sobering. But anyway, we got some amazing pictures and it was a great encounter. Mata Mata was full of surprises, giving us the best game encounters of our trip. It's a pride of 12 lions. We found them in the road. They all drank water. They're busy walking that way. 12. As we headed back to Tuerifiren, with the end of our trip in sight, memories lingered on the exceptional encounters we enjoyed. The exceptional lion encounter at Dickbar's Cork. The two lions at 13th Waterhole. And the 13 strong pride of lions at Mata Mata and then the serendipitous encounter with the four cheetah at Mata Mata an encounter we will never forget our only leopard sighting near Malkflay was rare and exceptional the female leopard had a good snooze while her cub played at the base of the camel thorn tree These and the numerous other sightings, big and small, are etched in our memories forever. We are back on our farm, free at last in the Klein Karoo, South Africa. Our thoughts and memories are still in overwhelm as we reflect on all the amazing sightings we enjoyed in the Kholakhadi. Our primary thought though is, 
we will be back. back.